What is going on, everybody? It is me again. It's HorrorFan34. A little bit of a different sort of a point of view that I'll be filming from this time. Uh, I'm usually always sitting down in front of the camera and all that stuff, but uh, I figured I'd do a, a, something different um, from this point of view, and I uh, figured this we just like a movie collection overview, sort of like an updated movie collection overview. So, uh, I haven't done one of these in a while, <clears throat> so I figured I'd show you guys, and I know, like, uh, it's not, like, all of them, because, like, behind, like, I'll give you an example, like, over here, you can see, like, back there, there is Blu-rays back there, so, like, on top of here, there's Blu-rays back there, like, behind these over here is all my Scream Factory titles, but you can't see them because they're in the back of these. <clears throat> So, uh, but I figured I'd just show you guys, like, the overview of what you can see on camera. So, uh, <clears throat> and like I said before, these are all alphabetical order. It took me a long time to do this, but it was definitely worth it because I like the way that the shelf turned out. And, uh, I'll scroll through the titles. <coughs> Maybe give a little bit of a, uh, talk about a few here and there, but, uh, I'll scroll through them very slowly so uh, you can get a good idea. Start up here. Well, actually, I'll, I'll go across here because... I was actually really... This is the one I showed recently in the update cliffhanger on Blu-ray. Excellent documentary here, The Crystal Lake Memories. I'm going to go up here. Now that one right there is a really underrated one, Frailty. <clears throat> There's another really good one there, The First Power. <clears throat> so basically, the, these first two shells that I'll be showing are um, Blu-rays, and then the rest down here are all DVDs. <clears throat> so this is the uh, second uh, Blu-ray. This is the last Blu-ray shelf. Kind of get a backup view. And if you can see here, like, the advertising stops at your next. But, like, all these other ones here, like, the Jingle All the Way and Mall Rats. Like, these are some of the newer ones that I received recently. So, I got to <clears throat> put these in <clears throat> the right spots in alphabetical order. But I kind of just stuck them here for now. So, I can just, like, alphabetize them, like, later. So, like, some of the newer Scream Factory titles, like The Legend of Hell House and Shocker. 13 Ghosts, and Deadly Blessing, Pet Cemetery 2, some Kino Lorber titles as well. <clears throat> oh, on top of that too, before, I forgot to show this on top, the, uh, my DCEU Blu-ray Digibooks that I have on top here. So that was these two shelves here. Of the, that was all the Blu-rays. <clears throat> now we're going to get on to... One, two, three, four shells of DVDs. So. Here's one here I hope that gets a, a Blu-ray release at some point. Let's see if I can get this one here. Breakdown. One of my personal favorite Kurt Russell films. I really wish this would get a Blu-ray one day. 
one of my personal favorite action movies, Broken Arrow. Love this movie a lot. <clears throat> and speaking of Kurt Russell, here's another really fun one here. Let's see if we can get it here. Captain Ron. Having both the clerks, the clerks, uh, you know, the animated series. Like this was actually, this is actually pretty rare to find. It's animated series. That's uh, kind of a, it's a pain in the ass to get out of it. It's stuck in there for some reason. Uh, there we go. Now they kind of have to. I got to sit on the floor for this one. Go to the next shelf. Of course, I still I still have the old Friday the Thirteenth box set. Here's a really good one here too, that not many people talk about, but fully clips. Very solid werewolf film that deals with werewolves and cops in there. Making our way down to the second to last shelf here. I still have the old Elm Street box set from many years ago. Here's one I really, here's one I really like here, Pieces. Pinocchio's Revenge. Now we're getting on to, of course, the last shelf. A lot of Richard Pryor stuff in there, like the, some of the stand-ups that he has. Like I said before, you can see that there's stuff in the back there. And get back. So there you have it. That's my entire movie collection overview. So uh, give you a little bit of a backup view. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you very much for watching and uh, I'll see you guys next time.